Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is about installing an interlock on this recent service upgrade I did in Maplewood, New Jersey. Now, when you're taking the panel cover off here, I always stress that you take the bottom screws off first, then the middle, and you always take the top screws off last. Uh, you want to make sure that you have some pressure on that cover as you're taking off these top screws so that the panel doesn't fall off. Because if it ever got inside that equipment, uh, you could have an arc flash and that would be a very terrible thing to happen. So take your top screws off last and be careful taking this cover off. Use two hands, pull it off slowly as you see here. On this particular job, the inlet circuit that goes to the inlet box on the outside of the house for where the generator connects to it, that was already in place. So all I had to do was reinstall it into the new panel here and then finally terminate it on my mechanical generator circuit breaker here. It's a double pole 30 and it's a 30 amp circuit to the inlet box on the exterior. This mechanical tie down right here is what mechanically attaches this generator circuit breaker to the panel enclosure. As you see here in article 408-36 section D, it's required that it be mechanically attached to the enclosure anytime you back feed a circuit breaker onto that bus bar, which is what I'm doing here. I'm using a 5 16 nut driver to secure that screw and this mechanically attaches that breaker to the panel. This is the template that comes with the interlock kit and I'm going to use a sharpie to mark or identify where I'm going to drill my holes to attach the interlock to this panel cover. Now you could use a marker like I'm doing here or you could use a smaller bit just to uh, give a little just to identify where those holes are going to be before drilling it with the larger drill bit as required with these instructions. It's a 532 inch, 530 seconds inch drill bit that's required to make these holes to fit the nut and bolt assembly to attach the interlock to the panel cover. Cobalt is the material that the drill bit is made out of, and it's used to drill through metal. That's what the cobalt drill bits are used for. So I highly suggest you get them. They're a little bit more money, but it's going to make drilling this hole a lot easier. I will definitely say that the Square D interlocks are some of the easiest interlocks to install to the panel covers. I won't mention any other manufacturers, but I will say that the Square D has the most easily understood directions for installing the interlock compared to the other companies and the ease of installing as well. Uh, comes with the metal template, which really, really helps to align to make sure you got your screws and your nut, nut and bolt assembly in the right place. I uh, can't stress enough how important it is to have that in the right spot. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to turn on, on and off either the generator breaker or the main breaker if it's not installed just right. So take your time before you drill any holes because you really only have one shot at getting it right. After the interlock is installed, you want to reinstall the panel cover. I'm using an M12 impact driver and a number two drive bit to attach the screws to the panel cover. Turn the main breaker off and slide the interlock up. Then turn the generator breaker on. Both circuit breakers cannot be on at the same time. This is the purpose of the mechanical interlock. These are the instructions for operating a portable generator with your home electrical system. If you need to, hit pause, take a picture of this or a screenshot, whatever you need to do. But you should read this if you do have a portable generator set up on your system. This is my brother P-Touch model E550 industrial label maker. 
I use it to identify the circuits on all of my electrical panels and upgrades. In case you were wondering, I do identify each of the circuits. That's required by the National Electric Code. I've shown that in other video, but I'm showing it here again. If you like this video, please uh, hit the like button. Also, if you're interested in subscribing, please do that. Hit the bell notification so you're updated on when I upload new videos. And as always, thanks for being here. We'll see you in the next one.